Okay, so we're going to try a little bit of um, filming here. We're in the countryside in Thailand. There's going to be a few interesting sounds in the background. Maybe some dogs barking, some cars going past. Anyway, what we're here to talk about are a set of artifacts from the excavation of Ba Non Mot that uh, were initially a little bit difficult to work out just what they were. You can see here, and perhaps you can see, perhaps it's obvious to you, but these are clay bangle fragments. So they're made in the same form, similar range of forms as the uh, stone and shell bangles from the Bronze Age uh, and, and Neolithic periods at the site and across Thailand in general. So they're made in those same forms except they're made from clay. And the other defining feature is they're never found in burials or any other ritual context and they're never found, almost never found complete. They're almost always just fragments in the general detritus of the archaeological site. Yeah. We um, generally organize bangles um, in terms of the, uh, into a typology based on the cross section. And you can see here this is a sort of extended V cross section with the widest part in towards the wrist on the inside here and then the narrowest part out on the edge here. So why is it that we find these clay bangle fragments but we never find complete bangles, almost never at least, and we never find them in burial contexts? Well, there's two main ideas. The first is that these are child's toys. They're copies that are being used and played with, are broken and discarded and lost, and they have very little value. Well, and in many cases that could be part of the explanation because they do seem to have a smaller internal diameter, that is they would fit on a smaller wrist than some of the shell and stone artifacts, but in most cases, but in, in many cases they are around about the same size as the shell and stone bangles as well. So the second explanation is not that dissimilar from the first, it's simply that these are everyday versions of the sorts of artifacts that we find in mortuary rituals, personal elements that are worn by the dead. These are the everyday versions, things that are worn and used and discarded and again don't have the same sort of ritual or symbolic value as the ones that are included as grave goods. Here we can see a clay artifact. It's circular or it's part of a circle. Um, it's got a squarish cross section and it is, as far as we can tell, a clay fragment of a clay bangle or a fired clay bangle. Here's another one with a square or rectangular cross section and again one more relatively simple example with an oval cross section and we can see on this one a brownish red slip which is very similar to what we find in, um, on pottery in the Bronze Age in th this part of Northeast Thailand as well. So, and here we have another example which is also very like the sorts of things we would find in shell and stone. It has its lot wide and narrow, so the inner edge is on the right hand side of the picture here. We can see the tendency towards a flange on that inner surface and then a long extended cross section. Very thin. And here is the largest example. If we look at the cross section here, this is almost exactly like the sort of cross section we would get from large tridacna shell bracelets uh, from the late Neolithic and into the early Bronze Age in Southeast Asia. And we certainly found some examples almost exactly like this in early Bronze Age burials of Ban on Wat. So this is an example of yet another type of artifact that can provide an interesting insight into life outside of mortuary rituals, outside of the processes of death in these prehistoric sites, and potentially provide um, a particular connection to the living people of the past at sites like Ba Non Wat. <laughs>